Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you how to make floating image or levitating image by using CSS in HTML or in WordPress as I will be showing you here. As you can see I have this button which is search button to the right from my logo and it is levitating or floating up and down and I will show you how you can make this floating distance bigger or smaller or how you can make this floating element to float from side to side or how you can change the speed at which it is floating. You can make it very fast floating if you want or levitating very fast. So no further ado guys I am here in my WordPress website and we will be doing it in CSS and I will be using customizer on WordPress website as you can see here guys customizer I will be using additional CSS tab to add additional CSS as this is already in all of WordPress already pre-installed and as you can see you will need only this small piece of code. This first part which is keyframes this is responsible for floating I will show you how this floating works and how you can manage it how you can make it float up and down and how you can make it float from side to side and change the distance of floating or levitating and this second part this is the selector which is selecting particular element on your page and it is adding animation to your element that element could be pretty much anything that could be text that could be box that could be card it doesn't matter what HTML element you want to levitate you will be able to do this after this video. So first thing what you will need to do you will need to select the image which you would want to levitate and to do this you just hover over with your mouse or to that particular element which you would want to levitate and right click the mouse and click on here inspect guys and your developer tools tab will open up where you will be able to see that particular element which you will be able to select as you can see here in my scenario I have selected class of this search button in my scenario is dot menu dash item dash nav dash search dash canvas and I am going deeper into it to not affect all element and I am taking only this link as you can see here guys for this particular button. So first thing you need to find the element which you would want to levitate. You just use the DOM tree to access that particular element. Once you have done it you can easily add this particular code and I will leave this code also on my website if you are interested just click on the link in the description and you will be able to get to this particular piece of code as I am not able to add it in the YouTube video description as it doesn't accept code guys. As you can see now currently we are levitating up and down and this is defined by these functions translate y. How big we want this movement currently I'm moving this icon 10 pixels and for example if I would want this movement up and down to be bigger all I need to do is add here instead of 10 I am adding there 50. As you see now this movement is from 0 this is from starting point to the upper side 50 pixels. If I would want it to be smaller for example this movement I am adding there only 30 and then this movement will be much smaller or for example 20 pixels then this movement will be even smaller. As you can see just by changing this number you can define how big movement you want up and down but for example in some scenarios you might want to move it from side to side rather than moving up and down. All you need to do is here to change this translate y as you can see just delete this y and specify x at the end as you can see here I am deleting y and specifying x and in the third one also deleting y and specifying x and as you can see now this movement is happening from side to side if I would want it to be bigger again it's here from minus 20 I can add 100 pixels and then this movement will be 100 pixels as you can see now it's moving from side to side 100 pixels or even if I would want 150 pixels you can see now it's 150 pixels however anyway if I click on that button it is functional and it is opening this search by using this first part of code you can regulate you want this button to be moving up and down or you want it to be moving from side to side and here in this middle parameter you can specify 
how big movement you want. And now we will show you how you can change the speed. Currently, as you can see in this second parameter in animation, I have defined the animation and this animation is ease in out in infinity. It is pretty much telling that ease in out. I'm using this function and I'm moving it from side to side unlimited amount of times. And here where is 5 seconds you can regulate how fast you want it to be moving. So now this 30 pixel movement is happening in 5 seconds. If I would want it to be faster I can add it to 1 second. As you can see now this 30 pixel movement from side to side is happening in one second but I could also make it even faster by specifying 0.5 seconds this is in half a second this movement 30 pixel movement is happening or for example 0.1 as you can see, now this movement is happening very, very fast. I will leave the link to this piece of code in the description and in first pinned comment of this video. If you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.